We'd like to show you a closer look at how to play Emperor's New Clothes. This is a playtesting prototype, so the components are subject to change, but it should give you a good sense of how the game works. Here we have the roll cards laid out. You have the Emperor, the Swindlers, and of course there's the child who breaks the illusion. As you can see from looking at the cards, all of the scoring mechanics for each role are shown on the cards. We've also indicated on each card which ones will be used depending on the number of players in the game. Here we have the initial setup for a three player game. There are scoring tokens at the zero point of the scoring track. We have a pawn here to indicate who is the starting player for the round. Dice and the resource cubes have been sorted into their different types. Each player has a starting hand of five cards and here are the roll cards. Each player will take turns selecting a role, starting with the first player. You choose a role and keep it hidden from other players. Once everyone has chosen a role, the remaining roles are set aside until the round ends. The starting player now gets a chance to roll the dice. The roll card you selected will indicate the types of resource that need to score, so you know what to go for when you roll. You roll the dice, Keep the ones that you like and re-roll any number of them. You may roll up to three times on a normal turn. Dice can also be affected by cards. For instance, this card allows the player to change one die of their choice. However, other players can play cards during your turn as well. As an example, player three plays this card to remove one of the dice from the first player's turn. Once your roll is complete, you collect resources based on the icons you rolled. and then play passes to the next player. This is what it looks like after each player has had their turn and collected resources. The roles are revealed. You will score points based on the role you chose and the resource you have. Your goals change depending on whether you're the Emperor, the Swindlers, the Child, a Villager and you turn in cubes for points. Player 2, for example, is able to turn in these four resources, but has one left over that doesn't fit this set. They move the appropriate number of spaces on the scoring track. Player 3 is able to turn in all of their cubes, putting them ahead of Player 2. Player 1 actually chooses to keep a cube, hoping that it will be more valuable in a future turn. So, that's the first round of the game, and the phases will repeat with these roles added back to the pile. We do have more characters we'd like to include if we hit our stretch goals. As you can see, the cards are designed to be read at a glance and are language independent. You don't have to refer to the manual every time you play a card to see what it does. The game should be very intuitive. Thank you for watching. Please check out the Kickstarter page for more details, including a PDF of the current version of the rulebook.